Hello so again there guys. You've probably noticed it's pretty windy. Uh, this is Storm Kiara. Kira? One or the other. <laughs> uh, we had the worst of it last night. But um, yeah, it's still lingering today. There's been some rain and um, yesterday was 60, 70 mile an hour winds. So a lot of what was going to come down has come down. The paths are littered with fallen trees and stuff. Um, today, 20, 30 mile an hour. At the moment, it was a bit higher earlier. So we'll see how we get on. Um, it's getting late in the day already. Uh, I need to get some long um, branches so I can make a pyramid because I've got a TP tent with me that I want to suspend and not have to have a pole in the middle. So I'm going to do that before I do anything else because they're going to be the hardest things to find. The wind and the rain starting to pick up now. I've got three long pieces. Uh, I think one or two of them come down in the storm. The other one was uh, coppiced at an earlier date. Uh, so yeah, I just need to peg out this um, tent and uh, get on the tripod. I've got the pole with me, I think. So um, I'll probably put it up with a pole so I've got the right height and then um, put the uh, tripod up so I've got it exactly right. Might have to put the camera away for a minute. <laughs> Thank you. 
came up a little earlier and uh, <laughs> carried this up. It's about half a mile walk through Woodland. It was, it's not easy, but it's doable. <laughs> I stashed it and uh, yeah, went and got the um, backpack. I've been eager to use this in the smoky hut tent. So I've only used it in the bell tent. And uh, yeah, it's a bit more compact. And you've got that nice, nice uh, open fire kind of effect. Well, this come down in the storm, so I take advantage of all this birch bark. And the rain's coming down. Fogging up a bit. <laughs> Trying to keep the um, camera a bit inside the uh, tent area here. Um, yeah, I've got some wood. I'm going to process that in the tent, I think. Why not? Uh, I've got enough space without the pole there. I uh, just need to get some kindling, which can be quite easy because so much has come down from uh, all the trees um, that uh, it's just laying around. And it's not too wet because it's come down during the storm. Sounds like this rain's here to stay now. <laughs> I've brought in a load of wood, made a mess. I've got some kindling and stuff as well. Um, I've even got a stump here, which uh, I can use to break down this wood uh, for the stove. I'm getting hungry as well, so <laughs> I need to process this wood and uh, get a stove going so I can cook some dinner at some point soon. Probably half hour of light if that. Wow. I didn't think it was going to rain quite this much. I thought I'd have a bit more time to get set up. I'm happy with the tripod, and there's two reasons for it. Like I said, this is the second day of Storm Kira. Um, so uh, I'm hoping most of the stuff that was going to come down, come down last night. And um, if anything else decided to, I've actually got some protection above me uh, from any falling branches. Now I've set up as best I can, but we're in a woodland, so you know, anything can happen. But um, yeah, it's just another layer of protection as well as giving me the space without a pole in here. Which, uh, yeah, a lot of space. I could actually sit up on this uh, stump, to be honest.
I'm actually pretty happy I brought the Laplander today. I wouldn't really be able to use the uh, long silky in here, not easily anyway, so this has been great. And I haven't got any wood too big to process. I haven't got my axe with me or anything. I was trying to keep everything as lightweight as possible because I had to bring the stove in. See, I'll just break these down a bit so they catch and burn. Well, so far I've got some kindling over there, a birch bark with some uh, smaller bits there, and uh, quite a lot that I've actually processed already, plus some more I can do in a bit. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but the sky is from a, a blue on the horizon going up to more pink well have a slight break in the weather I thought I'd just get my head out stretch the limbs I was going to be a cramp in one of them <laughs> because of uh, processing the wood and everything in a confined space yeah so I thought I'd just uh, stretch my legs for a minute maybe see if we do get a sunrise there's a slight break in the rain right now so might do I'll go have a look see I'll go out to the clearing over there I was just going to say how I really like um, this Coyote Brown. I'm starting to buy a few more things in it, the jacket. Um, I swapped a green one for a Coyote one and uh, this tent. They do blend in a lot better than the greens because the greens are never that natural. But these, yeah, especially in the winter when there's less greenery around, they really do blend in. I'm maybe 10 metres away from the tent here and I can't even see it well I can because I know where it is but just about found some of this paper birch while I was wandering around and uh, that should light pretty easily off a ferro rod. This uh, could be resharpened this uh, spine.
got some uh, fat wood with me as well, so I'm going to use that and the kindling I collected. And it sounds as though that rain's starting up again. Hunkering down for the night now anyway. And get some of that fuel in there. It's a little bit smoky but that's because of the uh, fat wood. This stove doesn't usually actually smoke at all. Draw right open. I should probably move this uh, lantern as well. I've got the stove going nice now. Really doesn't take long for a tent of this size to uh, heat up with a uh, quite a lot. Well, it's a medium stove, it's not a tiny one, but oh, there's the rain again. <laughs> but yeah, it heats up pretty quickly. And I can uh, open up the um, door a little bit if I want to. I should probably put in a little bit into the um, flaps at the top over the vents because for some reason they don't have them built on in this tent. Would be nice. Oh, I've got a ground sheet down. All my wood's processed. I'm set up. I'm feeling good. Just the uh, sleeping bag and sleeping mat set up, but um, I'll probably do dinner on that first anyway. So less risk of um, getting any holes on them or anything like that. I've actually got the uh, fire blanket, the mat, for under the stove. I've not got it under the stove, I'm just using it as an extension of a ground sheet, really. Because uh, the ground was a little moist from all the rain we've had. wonder if it's going to rain all night. I'm not really sure what's for dinner tonight, it's just a bit of a uh, experiment really. Just got several ingredients and we'll uh, see what happens. Just a bit of a skillet cook really. I'm just going to cube up some potatoes first. Just got some onion and some chilli here before I uh, prep my steak. Oh, I'm losing it. <laughs> I'll grab the bits that fell off. And as you can hear, it's pouring. Got my potatoes on already. They're going to take the longest out of everything. I just flip one across the tent. Yeah, so just get them going. I'll add the other vegetables and then the steak. Oh, and I've got some black beans as well. Just stick in the onions and might as well put the chilies in while I'm here. Seeds and all. I'll add in a bit of spice at this point as well. Just garlic powder, paprika, uh, cumin, salt, pepper, that sort of thing. Just gonna Make a bit of space in here and put in some diced up steak. And I'll just add a little bit more spice on that. Just add a taste, it doesn't need it. It's a bit hotter at the back of the stove, so I'll just move it back there. Also got some uh, black beans, um, refried 
collecting some coriander to go on at the end as well. All this mixing together now. Smelling great in here. <laughs> and that finishing touch of the coriander, a little cilantro before you say it. <laughs> And we'll just give that a mix in and we're done. Probably doesn't look too appetizing to you, but God, it smells good. Gonna go straight for a piece of that steak. That'll do nicely. Some of this chili, potato. Mm. Well, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this. The uh, rain has stopped, unfortunately. I was quite enjoying listening to it. Took the break in the weather to go out for a pee. It's just night and day. Out there, the starkness, the wind and everything. The dark. And in here, the glow of the... Uh, fire and the lantern, the warmth, just makes such a difference. It's weird. It's a completely different feeling or mindset. Like I've done both sorts of camping. I've been under a tarp with no fire or anything in the winter and I've done this which I'm quite enjoying at the moment but uh, yeah it's weird. You do almost feel a disconnect when you're camping like this. Be reminded when you go for a pee. <laughs> I've just been setting up the sleep system here and it's become apparent I am on a slope, or a two-way slope really, and one of them slopes is going towards the stove. A little tip for that, I might just turn the other way round, but uh, if you find that you don't have to re-pitch your tent. Get your stuff sacks, your pack, your coat, whatever it is you have on hand and just stuff it under one side of your sleep mat. Generally you can get yourself nice and level, it's only really your top half you need to be from like your waist up because that's where the weight is and um, you can get yourself nice and level and that's what I tend to do because it's very rare you kind of find any flat spots <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to get myself sorted a little bit in here and uh, have a chill and then it'll be hot chocolate time Well, it's pushing midnight now, so uh, I think I'm going to hunker down. I've been around the outside of the tent and um, kick leaves and debris around the perimeter because uh, you've got that slight gap on the bottom of the uh, teepee, so that's going to stop any breezes coming in. Um, I think in the morning the uh, wind's getting up to 40 to 50 mile an hour, uh, so we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, going to hunker down and uh, see you in the morning.
Good morning. It's a bit of a chilly morning. I've uh, got the stove going already. Just to warm me up a bit and uh, get some breakfast on shortly. I kind of realised last night it probably wasn't the best thing to do coming out. Uh, the storm clearly wasn't over um, and I didn't sleep much. The second I put my head down um, something hit the tent coming from a tree above. Nothing, nothing big but it was a bit of a thud and uh, where the moon was so bright you could see the um, trees swaying or the shadows and I started to get a bit worried with the noise of the wind <laughs> so I got up put my shoes on and everything and I went and got another piece I was going to get three originally but I got another piece to put on the tripod um, and I'll show you that and that was over where my head was so there's just a little bit more protection if something did come down obviously not if a tree did but if something came off the tree. I did check the trees around me here, um, check that they're well rooted and that. But yeah, uh, I wouldn't recommend doing this to be honest. I didn't sleep well at all, barely any sleep because of the noise and I think just because of being worried. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get some breakfast on I think. Really thick, glorious loin bacon. Smoked. Beautiful.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. It was a bit of an experience, at least. <laughs> I implore you not to do the same. It, it can be dangerous. As you saw in my journey in, there's trees all over the place, and one could have come down here. I checked everything around the vicinity, and I checked if there's anything big overhanging, and I had the tripod over and added to it. So I was being as safe as I could, but um, the best thing to do is just not go out in these conditions. Um, I gotta get moving because over the next hour the wind's gonna pick up again to about 50 miles an hour. So yeah, best just to get out of here. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.